If you've ever owned a pool before or had to maintain a pool, you know how much is involved in keeping it clean and pristine. Now, Wybot here have got you covered with two advanced pool cleaning robots. So today, I'm gonna to put them through their paces and I can't wait to see how the new C2 Vision from Wybot can handle some ground up coffee. So it's got a dirt hunting feature. So it hunts down dirt with the camera on the front and it picks up anything in its way. So I can't wait to see that. And then the F1, which is a surface skimmer, is solar powered and picks up all the debris that's floating on top. Check out the design on these two pool cleaning units here. We've got the F1 over here, which is that surface skimmer. You can see it's got the solar panel on top. It's actually exposed to sun right now. My pool doesn't get too much sun throughout the day. It will a little later on in the day, so it'll be perfect for like a midday uh, to like early afternoon. And then over here, we've got the C2 Vision, which is so compact. I absolutely love how compact this is. There are definitely pool cleaners out there that are a lot larger, can be very hard to move around, quite an effort, but I love how compact this is. Super lightweight, very simple. There's just a power button on top. We've got the camera here, which will scan down your dirt. Really simple design. On the back here, if we open that up, that's where we find the catch for all the debris. Nice and simple. And then over here, if we turn the F1 around, you'll see that's the catch there where all the debris is gonna go. And then you just pull it out like so. And quite a large catch. Um, yeah, so can't wait to see how this handles everything I put it through. This is the app here and you can see I've got both pool cleaners connected. So we've got the Wybot C2 Vision and the Wybot F1. So I can actually hear them in the background initiating. They're just checking uh, if they're in the water, which they're not. So this is the Wybot F1. You can see you've got the start cleaning option, pick up, then cleaning mode, you've got a few options. You've got the smart mode and the standard mode. And there's also a remote control. So because it's on the surface, it doesn't have to penetrate the water. You can manually control it and actually move it back to you so you can get it out of the pool nice and easily. So can't wait to see that feature. But you can see quite a simplified offering here with the F1. When we look at the Wybot C2 Vision, this is where it gets a lot more advanced. You can see immediately how many options we have here. So we've got floor cleaner, we've got wall, we've got wall and floor, standard full pool, water line, turbo floor, eco floor, and dirt hunting. Now dirt hunting is the one that I really wanna test out with the coffee grounds. And as you tap on it, you hear a little beep to let you know that it's chosen that mode that's been selected. Now, keep in mind, you can't control these under the water. You can't control the uh, C2 vision underwater. There is some advanced options here. So you can go into the cycle timer and you can choose either floor or dirt hunting. And you have the option to clean twice, clean three times, clean four times. And then from here, you can also go into the expert mode and you can adjust the pattern that you want it to clean in. And also when you select one, it gives you some more information uh, in the actual text down here. So roughly gives you like, that's an hour time frame, that's a three hour time frame, two hours for the floor, and uh, really simple to choose, really simple to go between the different modes and select everything. Now keep in mind, you would be doing this while the pool cleaner's on the side like now, and then you would have to get it out of the pool with the uh, provided uh, hook. And then from there, you can just change the mode once it's out of the water. Let's see how well the F1 can handle this pool here. You can already see there's a little bit of debris. The pool is relatively clean, but this is what it looks like when it just floats on the surface. It will then start to initiate and it's starting to recognize, okay, I'm, uh, I'm in a pool now. So you can already see it just started sucking something in and then it starts to flash just to initiate the process. So it's got a decent amount of suction. You can actually hear it sucking in all the debris on top. Now there are some wheels on the side there and they're just going to guide it as it starts uh, tapping into the side. For me, I've got a vinyl pool, so I have to be very careful of any sort of damage, scratches or anything to the, the pool itself. But this seems like it's gonna be really, really gentle. Oh yeah, getting some speed. Here we go. 
<laughs> just cleaning the side. In the app, I've got the smart mode by default and I've got the standard mode as well. Now, if we go into the remote control here, I'm really curious to see how this actually handles my inputs. Oh, that's awesome. Look how fast it is. Very responsive. And the reason you would use this is if you wanted to manually pick up something that's on the surface that it's missing, or if it's on the opposite side of the pool, let's say it's all the way over there and I'm over here and I'm like, well, I want it to come back to me. So what I'd do is I'd angle it towards me, full steam ahead. And it's got a decent amount of speed to it when it picks up. There we go. So I can literally just bring it over to me and now it's on my side and it's a lot easier to grab with that handle on top there. It's time to see how well this dirt hunting mode works. There it goes. Let's watch it just settle to the ground. And then from there, we should be able to handle some cleanup. The coffee is gonna be the job of the F1 actually, cause it's just sitting on the surface. But let's see how it goes cleaning up all of this coffee over here. Oh yeah, nice. There we go, look at it go. We'll put it there and then we'll put it into its cleaning mode. And now it should just clean up the rest for us. Getting to it. Oh yeah. The coffee was a little too light and it just floated on the surface. So I ran down to the park to grab some sand here. Now hopefully this will sink down to the bottom and we can truly test the dirt hunting mode. Here goes nothing. Come on, sink to the bottom. There we go, that's what we wanted. Perfect. So that's just gonna sink to the bottom and settle. And then we're gonna get the pool cleaner in. We're going straight into the dirt hunting mode. And now let's drop the C2 vision in to see how it goes. There's the sand there, it's all settled. So we're gonna angle it so the camera's facing towards the sand. And again, I love how compact this little unit is. It's so small and lightweight, but I'm very keen to see how powerful this is. Looks like a perfect position. It's gonna hunt it down straight away. There we go, it's initiating. Let's see. Oh yeah, straight on it. Oh, look at that. Now it's turning. Oh, it's actually hunting. <laughs> oh, I love that. How good is that? It's hunting it all down, going straight for it. Ybot have done an awesome job here and I feel like both of these cleaners together work really well together. It's a great combo just to ensure that you've got all of those cleaning needs met with your pool. For me, I'm very fortunate that I don't have many leaves that float on the surface, um, but that skimmer does a phenomenal job. Like if you have issues with leaves or anything just sitting on the surface, the skimmer is just gonna do the job and you don't have to think about it. Now there aren't too many settings with the skimmer. Um, you've got a few options and then you've got the controller option to then move it across to the side to grab it out of the pool. Now it works well, it just kind of does its own thing. But what really impresses me is the C2 vision. 
vision. The way it hunts down dirt like an actual predator, like it really just hunts it down. That to me is so cool to see. It climbs the wall with ease. I've got a vinyl pool, not easy to climb because it can be quite slippery for pool cleaners, but it climbs it with ease. It can clean the water line. There's all sorts of cleaning modes. You can set up cleaning cycles and schedules and all sorts of things. So I think both of them together work really well and they're a great combo. If you are interested in picking up these pool cleaners here, or maybe just one of them, I will have some links down below to check them out. So make sure to check those out to save over there and grab yourself one or both of the pool cleaners. I think they're a great combo if you have issues with stuff on the surface. For me, it's not a problem. So the C2 Vision is really all I need. But the fact that I've got that skimmer now is great because there's definitely like things that sit on the surface, debris and all sorts of things. And so it's just gonna be a cleaner swimming experience. Like the fact that I'm not gonna have little particles floating on the surface is gonna make the pool look that much cleaner. And both of them together, it's just so cool to see them both working together, right? It's like, you've got little workers that are just doing the job for you, love it. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. I do appreciate all the support. If you do check one of these out or both of them out, let me know in the comments below how you go with them. Again, really impressed, especially with the C2 Vision. For such a small unit, for how compact and portable it is, it's very powerful. It climbs the wall with ease, cleans the water line, no issue. And I've been really impressed so far. So thank you so much for watching. I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.